Hello, and thanks for joining. This is Laura, and I'm going to show you how to set up your download in Suspense area. We're going to click on Procedures from the home screen. Under Interface Management, Assign Items in Suspense. Once you assign items in Suspense right here, it's always going to be in the blue hyperlink. So you can click on Assign Items in Suspense from the left side or right from the middle. And you're going to be in the area called Policies. And click Run on the far right. This is going to load. It's going to get you in the area we call Suspense where all of the policies that download from the carriers can't find a home in a policy that was entered into Epic. So it is broken out in four different areas. This first one being where all the policies go. So the carrier downloads it, it sits here. This middle section, suspense account detail, we are not going to use. And then existing clients and policies. This is where you're going to find your policies. The next area is over here to the right. And this is going to show you all of the details for this download, what line of business it is. It's going to show the carrier, what agency and the branch and department, profit center, and your status code. But first, what I need you to do is set up and select the columns. There's a little blue hyperlink here on the right that says select columns. The columns that I like to have and in the, the order they are might not be the columns that you want in that specific order, but this is what I find to be most efficient and easiest to use when I'm working and trying to locate and assign my policies out of suspense. So I'm going to give just a few seconds so you can make sure that you have all of these added on together. You do not need to have the contract number selected. That is something that we use here in um, the admin portion of Epic that we set up all of the download contract codes. So all of your policies will download with your branch codes. Some of the carriers don't all send over, including a branch code. So that's why it's very important to have your account name also listed. So if you can make sure that you have these checked and then click OK, you can move around the different columns. So if you wanted to move one back and forth, you can do that. Um, I like to have the lookup code first. Once you assign a policy out of Epic, you're going to get that lookup code and it is going to show you a code and that's the code that was assigned to the account when you enter that account into Epic. Once you see an account there, the lookup code, then you're going to know that it's going to download on the next day when we run all of the updates in suspense. However, if it's a Friday, it's going to run on Monday morning. Your branch code is going to show you um, what your branch is. And if you can look down here, you can see that this doesn't have any branch code. Um, and that could be for um, many different reasons, but Progressive right now is sending over their branch code. You can search for your policies based off of your branch code, your issuing location, your first name of your client and policy number. You, these are the four that you're going to be using when you're searching for your clients. Click on the search where and you can do it by account name. Begins with so let's just put in my name and see if there's anybody with the name of Laura. So now there is a policy, you can search it this way. Another way would be is to search it by your branch code. So I have to clear this filter over to the far right, click OK. Whenever anybody is sitting on a policy right here, you won't be able to do any work in there. So if somebody is sitting on one of your policies and it is not allowing you to locate it and find it and assign it, just send us an email and say, hey, I'm working in suspense and somebody is sitting on my policy. 
give us the name and the policy number and we'll make sure that um, you're able to assign it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click and scroll down and do the branch code. So that's the BRCH, your columns, and when you search where, need to match up. We're gonna do equals and we are gonna do a branch code. When you find any of these, you're gonna see these are all the policies that need to be assigned to a policy in Epic. So right now, that's how you set up your download and suspense area. The next video that I'm going to be showing you is going to be how to locate and assign your clients. So I look forward to hearing from you guys with any questions. You can always email training at isnoah.com. And thank you for joining.